Good afternoon, esteemed chairs Paul Bailey, Swan, Nicely, and members of the committee. My name is Jess Myers, and I serve as senior counsel for Chamber of Progress, where we champion technological innovation to benefit all Americans, including the vibrant community here in Nashville, the heart of our nation's music industry. We stand before you to express our deep concerns regarding Senate Bill 2096. This bill is intended to extend Tennessee's existing publicity rights legislation to voice threatens to inadvertently stifle the very innovation and creative expression that fuels this city's soul and America's global leadership in entertainment and technology. First, SB 2096 expands the right of publicity to non-commercial uses, raising the risk of litigation that could negatively impact the arts, including Nashville's music scene and especially its many tribute bands. By shifting away from its original intent, to protect against unauthorized commercial uses of likenesses, the bill could stifle creative expression. Without clear exemptions for expressive works, creators and artists face the, the daunting prospect of legal challenges, dampening artistic freedom and threatening Nashville's cultural vibrancy. Second, although the bill does not specifically address artificial intelligence, section A3 clearly targets AI advancements by specifically mentioning algorithms capable of generating digital replicas. This section, much like the previous section, lacks specificity and indiscriminately encompasses all uses, including those for expressive purposes. Imagine the power of AI to bring historical figures to life, enhancing our children's learning, or to empower songwriters and musicians with new ways to express their artistry. Yet, under SB 2096, such innovations will face unwarranted legal challenges. Moreover, the bill also places an unfair burden on AI developers, holding them liable for how others might misuse their technologies. For example, an AI model designed primarily to replicate historical figures for educational content could be misappropriated by others for unauthorized commercial purposes. This misaligned liability will discourage the development of AI tools that have the potential to revolutionize not only education, but also the way we create, experience, uh, create and experience music and art. Perhaps most concerning is S about SB 2096 is it erects barriers that disproportionately affect small creators, especially those from marginalized communities by favoring entities capable of navigating the bill's legal complexities. Nashville's music industry thrives on the contributions of independent artists and creators who, under this bill, would find themselves at a significant disadvantage. In closing, while we support the protection of individual rights, the approach taken by SB 2096 is fraught with challenges that could hinder the advancement of the very sectors that embody the spirit of Nashville and our nation. To be clear, we do not oppose extending publicity rights to voice, as many of other states have already done, but this approach is fundamentally flawed, and therefore we ask you to oppose SB 2096. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for your consideration. Open to questions. Thank you. Sorry for going over. <laughs> Members, questions for our guest? I see none. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,